Hello. My name is Peter and I'm going to show you an interesting video about the MSF supply chain. Stay tuned to the screen. Whether responding to an emergency caused by natural disaster, treating war casualties, vaccinating hundreds of thousands of people in just a few weeks, or setting up a refugee camp in the middle of nowhere, logistics and supply are essential to MSF's operations. Every year, MSF supply centers deliver an average of 12,000 tons of medical and non-medical supplies and equipment. The supply centers purchase, warehouse, and transport large quantities of medical and non-medical supplies to the countries where MSF has operations. In 2015, 5 million syringes, 44,000 fleece blankets, and 1,500,000 malaria tests were dispatched from the Bordeaux Supply Center to field projects run by the French Operations Center. Quality control and approval of medical items, procurement, supply, warehousing, order preparation, transport, between 1,500 and 2,000 people are involved in some way in the supply chain, in the field, at head office, or at supply centers. Teams assess needs according to the situation in the field. For example, health workers at Ebola treatment centers require protective clothing, goggles, rubber boots, suits, and gloves to avoid contact with bodily fluids. When stocks need replenishing and the items cannot be purchased locally, an order is sent to the supply centre. It often takes several weeks for orders to be delivered from supply centres. For locally purchased orders, it takes anything between a few hours and a month. In the field, one of the main tasks of the person in charge of supply is to implement quality control and ensure stocks are in sufficient quantity. When MSF responds to an emergency, it's usually the supply centers that dispatch supplies and equipment. Usually sent by air, they can be delivered to the field within 48 hours. Ready-to-use kits are pre-prepared. They contain everything needed to respond to an emergency situation. Nutrition kits to treat patients suffering from malnutrition. Rapid intervention surgical kits to enable the teams to start delivering medical aid as soon as they get to the field. And field hospital kits that can be sent to a conflict zone or the scene of a natural disaster. The cholera kit, designed to provide treatment to 625 patients, for example, contains 4,000 litres of infusion fluid, 1,300 catheters, 1,000 pairs of medical examination gloves, 20 pairs of boots, and 500 patient follow-up cards. Two-thirds of medical supplies are purchased on the international market by the supply centres. Oral medications and vaccines are purchased in India. Injectable drugs, such as anaesthetics and antibacterials, are sourced from European manufacturers. Most non-medical items are purchased locally. Close to 50,000 items are now listed in the MSF catalogue. In 2015, MSF's purchasing budget totaled 270 million euros. Now, you know more about the MSF supply chain. We hope you liked it. See you in other modules.